So we're heading off to our next town, leaving Hoffen. It's 728 going to Eaglestadter. It's about two and a half hours, I believe. Yep. And um, another beautiful cloudy day. Actually, I mean that, beautiful cloudy day. And we're just gonna drive through the town of um, Hoffen. One thing that's nice about Hoffen is that there's many gas stations. They have um, the grocery store, which is called Netto. It has everything you can imagine. And it's got a three glacier view. When you walk into the entrance of that store, there are literally three glaciers that you see. It's like unbelievable. Yeah, and the town is uh, is really cute. There were good restaurants. I wasn't sure what to expect, but the food was like a culinary treat. One of the things we always hear about Iceland is that it's hard to get vegetables. And I've had vegetables every night for dinner. So. Yeah. It hasn't been a problem. Here's the there's netto. A, there's the netto store. Let's, let me let's show it to you here. There's a the netto store. It's going to be hard to see it to the right. It's like you're going to see three glaciers. So this is going into the main part of town here. Nice little neighborhood. It's a fishing village, but really seems like a lot of tourists activity here. Um, we didn't feel it being overcrowded, but a lot of the places are turned into guest houses or uh, little uh, hostels or things like that. So a lot of the shops just become places for tourists and guests. Yeah, I think they realize that there's more money to be made with renting out uh, a previous business as a little apartment. So these are the two restaurants. Actually, there are three here. This first restaurant at the flags here is uh, these two buildings are like on the historic registry. They couldn't tear them down, so they're very, very old. This one is called Berkey Amazing Food. I had a great um, BLT. BLT. It was awesome. And then there's a, uh, what's this place called? Auto Mature. The building was 1897. And then there's a building here, Pack House. We didn't go there, 1932. And behind that is basically, that's the docks. So that's the whole town. That's the tour of the town. But the restaurants were really interesting because the they are historic buildings, so old, old buildings with even the old fence around the building, but then completely modernized inside and really uh, modern food too, like culinary treats.
there's like what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve waterfalls of one little waterfall area just arrived at Estrahorn, not Vesterhorn, but Estrahorn, which is behind us. So we're walking up to the the, uh, the tower. I guess this is the uh, light tower. Yes, okay, so it's an orange lighthouse. The, some of the literature said it was yellow, but it's quite orange. It's beautifully orange. Matter of fact, it looks pretty modern. Look at the front end of it. The front end of it looks like a ship. Yeah. Doesn't it? So it's very windy, probably 20 miles an hour wind. We're gonna to try to fly the drone to get a perspective picture. And hopefully it turns out. But the clouds make it a very beautiful, beautiful textured day. some birds don't like the fact that I'm taking some pictures trying to get a picture of Estrahorn here they're like, attacking, they're like attacking birds well I guess there's more angry birds here they don't like that I'm taking pictures I don't know if you can see that, they're trying to attack me. Yeah, they're getting kind of close. Entering the town of Jupiter Vogger. I'm 
sure that's nothing like the real pronunciation. <laughs> highways 